Hi, this is Susan from Susan Newman Design, and we're at Mission 50 in Hoboken Learning WordPress. In this video, we're going to learn how to edit our theme in Dreamweaver. We're on a site that's using WordPress for its content management system. And in this video, we're going to learn how to edit WordPress themes in Dreamweaver. So let's say that you have a new WordPress site and you've picked a theme or you've had a custom theme done. And there's something that you want to change. So in this example, I'm going to show you that um, I want to change the color of the background of this gray. There are two different ways that you could do this. The first way is on the site itself. So if you go to your dashboard and you go under Appearance, Editor, once you open that, you'll see that it already opened to the style sheet. And so I've scrolled down and this is the spot where the footer is. So if I zoom in, you'll see right here that it says background color is 1B, 1B, 1B. And I can easily just edit that and say I want it to be 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. And then I would just update the file. Now I'm going to show you in Dreamweaver how you can do that same thing. There are a few reasons why you might want to work on the code pages in Dreamweaver rather than live on the site. First, you might want to have a backup version of the original page. In case you change something and it doesn't come out right, you can always restore the original. And second, maybe you have a custom theme and you want to have a copy of that custom theme. Uh, and even if you don't and you've just downloaded a theme uh, or installed a theme uh, manually, you know, you, you might want to have a copy of it on your hard drive. So in these images, I'm just showing you that uh, in Dreamweaver, you have the remote side and you have uh, the hard drive side and you can download from one to the other. So in this case, we downloaded the theme over to our hard drive, and then we opened the style sheet, and we can manually change uh, the background color, and then just upload and replace that saved document back to the remote side. I hope that tip was helpful. For more information, visit me online at Susan Newman Design. Thank you.